hello welcome back to our channel today we are expecting visitors in our home diana kyohun and their kids minji and june we have both been family friends for more than six years and we are living in the same city some few months ago we visited their home so today they decided to pay us a visit do you remember minji and june yes we were in their house last time
can't think you forget the result. Get the five results. Go on, you do as well. Get the best. Let them get this. The majority of what I saw was, was happening with the uh, cultural families in this. When especially you have the father who is a public speaker and the daughter who is a Korean, uh, the children normally can't speak English. Oh, they can't speak English? Yes. Because there, I have many of my friends, their kids can they don't speak English. They don't. They don't speak. 90% of Nigerians who I know who are married to Nigerians here. All of the kids, next of the So, what does that mean that the father doesn't, the father can't communicate with his own kids? That is it. Now, it happens that the father will be isolated from the kids and because definitely they go with their mom all the time and their mom speaks Korea to them. And they go to school, they speak Korea. They go out to friends, they speak Korea. So, even if their father speaks English to them, because it's really going well. Like, uh, like I said before, you see, if your husband, or uh, even if your husband don't speak to them to your kids, they will definitely speak to them. I can bet you that 100%. If kids don't speak to them, your the kids will speak to them. Sure. I have a Nigerian friend, the wife is Nigerian, the parents are Nigerians. So they are not Koreans. But their kids you will be shocked, you will even think that these students they are Koreans if not, if, if not for their color because why? they, they, are going to, they, go, they went to Korean kindergarten they, they, they are going to Korean school so now you can imagine people saying oh, your husband is speaking Korean today that's why they can speak Korean these people, they are not speaking Korean even they speak Kibo to them at home they don't speak Korean at home at all because they are not Korean family but this is this Korean that's it. Wow. For school, right? For school. And because they the first everything is Korean, that is natural. And not only one or two, I met I know I know many people, Cameroonians, Nigerians who are just like that. So how come they get that Korean uh, even the accent and everything? Is that is environmental factor? It is about uh, because we are living in the Korean environment. So definitely the children will learn Korea, whether you speak it at home to them or not. That's so how old are they? The, the family the, the, the first son of that my friend came to Korea when he was okay, four or five years old. Now he's about 16 years, or he's 18 years. 18 years? Yes. Wow. This guy speaks Korean that Koreans that they are there like Understand? The other younger ones who were born, they were born here in Korean. They are they went to daycare, and I'm in the garden. They all speak Korean. If we happen to live in America, right in this country, I don't have to worry about speaking English. I will not speak my Korean language to them because I know that the way we definitely speak Korean to them. Because they will speak Korean to them. 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 English, English. So I will be forced to speak Korean to them at home because I know that if you don't do that, they will get Korean. My wife can speak Korean to them in four hours at home because that is the only way they can get Korean. Okay? Because they are not living with Korean environment. If you keep quiet, they will forget it. So, so far, you're you your, your wife's <laughs> English. Yeah. If, if, if you have not been speaking English to them, so it's even the good of her, that's why this can speak English, not good of her, because I don't, I don't spend most time with them. Uh, you're working more, uh, you're uh, uh, And then, because kids are always with their mother, you tell them slowly, you come back from school, you tell them, so they are always educated more than with me. So if you don't do that with English with them, you will not be with you.
It's time to eat, okay? Keep those toys. <laughs> he wants to eat with the box. <laughs> <laughs> We left Korea anyway. We traveled, went to Nigeria, went to Ghana, went to KL. Oh, wow. we, we left. That was when we did our wedding. We went there before we came back to Korea. Oh, the wedding abroad? Yeah, we left in Nigeria before we came back to Korea. After we came back, that we went to Korea. So you, you guys came back to Korea and you were already married? Yes. So like, what was the, the reaction of your parents when you found out that you guys were married already? No, what happened was initially, there was no way they, they, they didn't want to even see me. Oh. You understand? They didn't want to see me. Don't talk of talking about marriage. They don't want her to even get close, you know, have, have anything to do with me. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I told her, listen, if you continue waiting for your parents to say yes, you see. We might, we, might, we, might, we might stay here for years, thinking of our oh, house of wisdom. We should think of other options. So, I was in the opinion that if we really care and love ourselves, we have to go ahead with what we want to do. Definitely, at one point in time, we will definitely accept what we have on the sun. But if you wait for them to accept, Mm, I know some, some people, they, their parents understand at, at the point and then accept them to go ahead. Mm -hmm. And but when you see those people of age to get married, but no, no offer, the parents they are like, mm -hmm. they are the one who push you and go and get married. They don't have option, just go. go. The other situation was that if the, if the child is already a body to them, they, will even, they don't even have to worry oh, about they it. Wouldn't they wouldn't care too much. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But then they want her to get married by all means. 
Oh, so whoever you, you come with, they will even be happy. Oh, thank you, no problem. You know, that is two different situations mm -hmm. for getting married. Both of parents, when they think, oh, you still have, you are still young, you can, you know, they will definitely tell you, what do you want, do you want to do in that in Africa? You know. Mm -hmm. So in our own case, the parents don't even want to see me. Even when we came back from Nigeria, and after I married, they didn't know we get married in Nigeria. Right? But when I went there, they saw me. They all step by the way. Like, no, we don't have any problem with you, but what we don't want her to do is we don't want her to get married to a foreigner. Not that, not, not that we hate you or anything, but we don't want her to get married to a foreigner. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. Even though I even have seen how this, what did she see in my house in Nigeria? We are showing them pictures. Things we were, they were like, wow, this is oh, Nigeria, wow, that, this is not what they think about Nigeria. They thought Nigeria maybe it's all kind of, saw the house and everything, you know. Uh, Mom said, at, 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 at the end of the day, no problem that she doesn't have any issue about it, but she does, they are not in support of her, they are married to a foreigner. In between, this is the problem. So, and then, we left. The rest was she and them talking, but, but then, I think that was when she finally told them that we're already married. Mm. So, and they know that there's nothing. There's nothing. That they can take the care What year did this happen? That was 2012. Oh, 2012. 2012, yeah. That's almost the same time we were. 2012. When you visited my parents. When I visited his, your parents. How long have you dated before you got married? We didn't date much. We didn't date up to five months or four months. Oh, okay. We didn't date much, so we don't, uh, then I used to come to Korea and go. Oh, okay. I visit Korea and go. So even the first time I met, I met her, we just knew for like was it, was it up to one month. After I met her, one month I left. I left Korea. I went. Right? Maybe one month. After one month I met her, I left. I went to Nigeria. You've been in Korea a long time. No, I wasn't staying in Korea permanently. I was coming in and going for business. Then. Okay. So, so, so my business when I went when I was on my uh, business that I met her on the way and then, then I was preparing to go back to Nigeria. But I came like two months ago before I met her, and I was having was one month left for me to to, to round up and go. So I met her, and then from there we discussed, and I said, okay, I'll I'll, I'll be coming back for you. So. I think I thought she doubted if I if I if you I was serious and coming back. So I left, and because of her, I did whatever I had to do first to come back. Oh. She was like, she's waiting for me. Am I only coming back? So we talk every time on phone. So thank you for. Oh, I'll be back. So she was like, what are you coming back? She got to like spend like three to four months in Nigeria before I came back for five months. Hmm? More than five, five months. So she was keep asking me, is she going to wait? For how long is she going to wait for me to come? She doesn't want to wait. She doesn't want to wait. Just finish it. Hurry and come back. Or I don't wait for you more than this. Mm -hmm. so, She's like, hurry up. Before you always up, better come back. I said, don't worry, I will come in. So I did everything I was have to do, did some of them, and then I came back. And I told her, if I come back, I will take you go back to Nigeria. And I came back. Two months after I came back, I left. Oh, okay. So, three months. Three months. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's been, I think it was three months before. November, so we left it. Mm -hmm. So all our dating was just between the first two, the first one month I met her and the first month I spent in Nigeria and then I came back two months later and we went to Nigeria. We first landed in, in Ghana. Ghana. We went to Ghana. From Ghana I took her around and she was like surprised. You refused to go to Nigeria. That time there was a kind of uh, protest, serious protest. So we went to Ghana. From Ghana we took a, a taxi from Ghana to to Benin, right? Oh, okay. To Togo. Taxi to. Taxi. Taxi. Yeah, taxi. Yeah, yeah, she was like, 
We say you can move from one country to another. Like, not country. <laughs> but that's so, all. You know, she was seeing kind of. You know, you know, in Africa, West Africa, we have common boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's not like here where you have to take to the ship or so we just we took a taxi from from Ghana to Togo. How how long was that? It was not long, it was, it was just maybe it took up to two hours. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. So it just, just, oh, just depends on the past, you see the immigration, the customs immigration uh, at the uh, gate, you, you, you stand because we, we spent two days in Ghana, right? One day. One day in Ghana, then the next day we moved to Togo. We spent another one day in Togo. <laughs> then the With next your day. Cases and everything. Then the next day again we moved from Togo. To ABC. To ABC, we took ABC bus, yeah, and moved to, to Nantel. We took a bus. That's a lot of work. We took yeah. a bus. We took a bus from from Togo to Nigeria. Mm. So she was she was seeing something was never seen before in her life. Said, what is this? Really? Is this how it is? So. <laughs> so in, in total, it was two days, maybe two days of traveling. Two or three days. Mm -hmm. Two or three days to actually get to the destination. When we went to Ghana, I think we went to go. We went to club, right? Mm -hmm. It was fun, and after it, it would be fun. A road trip, two days, twenty-four hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Togo to Nigeria, we have to pass another. We have to pass another, another country. We, we pass Benin Republic. From Togo to Nigeria, it's not direct. So we, we took. From Togo, we took a bus, we passed Benin Republic. We come to call Benin Republic. From Benin Republic, we then enter Nigeria through bus. Wow. It was about many hours, 12 hours or so. 12 yeah. hours. Yeah. So, <laughs> we passed through two, two countries. I, I used to complain mm. about my transportation from, like, it's Korea to one state in uh, the US. And then I should transfer to Florida, which, which is the destination. Mm -hmm. I used to complain because I said I didn't like the transfer, and then I should take the car to my my parents' home. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like that. Well, how long is it? Three hours. Mm -hmm. I was complaining about three hours. Three hours. Mm -hmm. But this, you guys, three days. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> it's totally. No, that one, that that three days wasn't just. On the car, although only, only where we spent hours driving was from Togo to Nigeria. Oh, okay. When we went to Ghana, just ten days, mm -hmm. we, went, we went down there, we got in the hotel, meet my friends, move around, then the next day we moved to the next country. That's how we That's how we Yeah, so it was fun. I'm going to like that because I have a lot of water and mm. the water just put us there. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can just cross the country. You stay in this country today, the next day you go to the, the other country. <laughs> <laughs> Our flight was supposed to be direct to Nigeria. So, but the flight had the problem, so they were not going to Nigeria direct anymore. So, our other day is we are taking to Nigeria. So, we were going just only with our hand carry. Our, our car, oh. we didn't have anything with us. So it was when we get to Nigeria, after three days, that we have to go to the airport to yeah. Nigeria and to take our luggage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so they would say Ghana first, right? But they didn't come back. Even the clothes she has, we have to buy mm -hmm. clothes for her in, 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 in Ghana. What is in Ghana? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, bought, yeah. we bought clothes for her. <laughs> <laughs> we left. In the meter. I had to meet her. Some of our clothes are in the bag, in the, in the, in the, in the car there. So, yeah. so we have to go to the market yeah. to buy clothes for her. Winter clothes, winter jacket. Oh, it must be really hot, right? <laughs> 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 I can't watch this video. What's your eyes? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we are going to see again, okay? Yeah, we are going to see again. You look very happy. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Okay, easy. Bye. 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 Bye.